What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today I have information on every available exotic weapon masterwork including the stat and perk changes, add-ons and some of these are absolutely incredible. It's unbelievable people. Wait until you hear what some of these changes are. But before we go any further guys, if you do enjoy the video, leave a like truly helps me and my channel out and I do appreciate that support. Also this information was provided by Sarah Bad on Reddit, which was obtained from a website called Light.gg. So let's get into it, guys, and starting with the Borealis. This gets a plus 20 reload speed stat increase. The colony, plus 10 magazine, plus 30 weapon size, which I believe means magazine size. Deeper pockets perk, increased ammo reserves. Crimson gets a plus 20 range stat. Darcy gets a plus 20 stability stat. Fighting Lion, plus 30 reload speed stat. Sharima perk, after this weapon fires, equipped kinetic and power weapons gain a brief period of increased handling and precision damage. Damn! Graviton Lance gets a plus 20 range stat, plus 15 aim assist stat. Hidden hand perk, better target acquisition. I cannot wait to get my hands on that, people. It's a beast as it is. The hard light gets plus 25 stability. The huckleberry gets a perk called Ambitious Assassin. Overflows the magazine based on the number of rapid kills before reloading. Nice. Jade Rabbit gets a plus 30 stability stat. Merciless gets a plus 40 range stat and a plus 40 stability stat. Mida Multitool gets a new perk called Outlaw. Precision kills greatly decrease reload time. This thing already reloads quick, so it's going to be absolutely instant. That's crazy. Polaris Lance, Dragonfly perk. Precision kills create an elemental damage explosion. The Prometheus Lens gets a plus 20 stability stat and a plus 20 handling stat. The Prospector gets a plus 40 blast radius stat, plus 70 magazine size, with the deeper pockets perk, increased ammo reserves. The plus weapon size is the magazine size and that's the perk called deeper pockets which increases ammo reserves. Rat King, a plus 20 aim assist stat, a plus 20 recoil direction stat, infestation perk, improved aim assist and recoil direction, refreshes health on vermin invisibility trigger. Damn, that is going to be so OP. Now, if you don't know vermin, once you get a kill, you reload, you go invisible. Now you also regen health. That is absolutely ridiculous. Risk Runner gets a plus 30 range stat. Skyburner's Oath gets a plus 30 range stat. Sleeper Simulant gets a plus 25 charge time stat with Accelerate Coils perk, speeds up a weapon charge. Sturm gets a plus 20 range stat and plus 40 handling stat. Sunshot gets a plus 30 range stat and a plus 20 stability stat. The Suus Regime gets a plus 50 recoil direction stat and it also gets a new perk called Suus Ascendance. Increased chances for kills to regen health. Sweet business, serious business perk. When this weapon is fully spun up, the flinch from incoming damage is greatly reduced. Not bad. The Telesto gets a plus 16 magazine stat and a plus 40 weapon size stat, which is a part of the Deeper Pockets perk, increased ammo reserves. Tracked again and gets a plus 70 magazine and a plus 50 weapon size stat. Again, a part of that Deeper Pockets perk, increased ammo reserves. Vigilance Wing gets a full auto trigger system perk. Holding down a trigger will fire this weapon at full auto. Damn! Warcliffe Coil, Pinpoint Guidance Module perk. Improved tracking on projectiles. Nice. And then we have the World Line Zero. Another dimension perk. Reduces the activation time of the Tesseract. Nice. Now all these data mining for may not make complete sense, especially when it talks about magazine size, but I believe this works in a percentage way. I believe weapon size stands for the ammo in reserve. For every 10 in the magazine stat, you get one more bullet in it, but I could be wrong. But yeah guys, there's some pretty incredible changes coming for sure. It's hard to say which I most look forward to seeing. Probably the Rat King because that just looks absolutely ridiculous, but there are so many great additions here. These are exotics I feel will feel exotic, how they should be. Now I will say, how you get most of these is still yet unknown. Some you get clues, others are just random. As time goes on though guys, guides will come, especially from me. But on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like truly helps me and my channel out. Thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully people, I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand, but you and I will carry on.
could get it right.